Hey everyone, it's Trish. I am back filming my daughter's completed organization for her closet. So I'm just going to go through and show you, I spent no money this time thus far and I'll kind of explain a little bit um, why I did not purchase any organizational things and um, kind of uh, fill you in on um, what I did. So, at the top here in that first box, we have baby blankets. These are ones that we'll need when the other baby comes. There's also some sentimental ones that people have made for us. And I love that people make blankets for you. However, if you have five people that make a baby blanket for you, you have a baby quilt or whatever that's part of any kind of set or something you've purchased as more decorative for the room, you're already using that. So you kind of end up with a lot and you just hate to get rid of it. I have some extra pumping parts. I have my belly cast from my son when I, the day before I delivered him actually, I was in the hospital. Um, then I used some old diaper boxes here. These are some extra size threes, some extra size ones, some infant socks and hats, and this is actually the quilt that goes on her bed. Um, she did get sick after eating some lunch um, the other day, so I pulled out the old one we had from when my son had this room as his nursery and um, then was able to wash hers and I just put it back up there. I did go through her clothes and kind of sort those out a little bit better and came across some clothes that I was like, oh, those are probably too small. And actually, they're, since they're kind of jumpers, they um, fit her just fine. Then we have a, I still have boxes of our Diaper Genie refills. We will try to use those up with this baby. If not, I thought about cutting them and using them as um, trash bags. So just not to be wasteful. A lot of newborn diapers, again, trying to use up with this baby. If not, we will donate or pass them on to a friend. I do go through them um, quite a bit. I like to use them in a lot of different ways. Yeah, I'm making a movie. And um, here's some size five diapers that we still have. I just ordered some more. And then Target's having a really good deal this week, so I'll probably stock up on some more. A few more wipes here. I know you're thinking, oh my gosh, you have so many. Um, we do, but then I'll go in and say, okay, for the next month, don't ship it. So you can kind of adjust, which is really nice. And these are some leftover size twos on that shelf. Um, we have some wipes, a couple other wipes that are already open. I'm just kind of storing these things here. I need to really get baby boxes for my kids, um, some nice ones I'd like to have to really keep things that I think that they would later um, want or to share. And this kind of too, some extra pictures, cards, and things um, are just stacked there until I get their baby boxes and then that will get more organized. Um, my hospital gives you these cute little bags whenever you have a baby. Um, I keep one in my car with extra diapers and wipes and change of clothes and one in my husband's truck as well. That is my pump that I got when my daughter was born. Um, insurance will now pay for you to have a pump so I have my backpack pump that I usually use around the house and this is one that I will be keeping at school for when this baby comes. So I did not purchase any organizing containers. I have these leftover diaper box and wipes and I'm going to be using up those size three. I'm going to be using up those size ones or donate them so I won't need to continually have a box. Infant socks, once again, once this baby's past its infancy stage, we won't need that anymore. So I didn't want to buy tubs or fabric containers for temporary storage. So I just went with this. I'm okay with it at this point. Is this a Pottery Barn worthy closet? No. Is it good enough for us? Yes. And, um, this closet will probably um, be shared with the um, incoming baby. We have a four bedroom house and a completely finished and beautiful basement. My son's is three and a half. I, I don't feel completely comfortable moving him down there. So, and we will be in the process of probably moving about a year from now. Um, we'd like some land and to find a home that would uh, better fit our family. I'm also gonna show you a couple of people have asked just about some inexpensive nursery finds. I don't know if anybody out there knows of, oh gosh, and I'm not going to be able to think of it. Um, oh goodness, I'll think of it and post it in there. There's um, a website and they also have a magazine that I shop from. And since my daughter's name is Hootsie, we kind of did her um, bedroom in kind of owl or nature animals kind of themes. So these are cute three little framed owl pictures. She has a little angel figurine. I used this was actually something that came as a plant when she was born, but I keep little bows in the back and then the little headband things. My, she still has no hair. So, and I didn't put these on her very often because you know, she's just gonna pull them off. And then a cute little lamp that was on sale at Target. Um, 
<clears throat> now I want to show you kind of how I have organized her dresser. First of all, a great tip is to roll their clothes. It's so much easier to grab something rather than rifling through it, and even your own clothes if you can kind of go in and sort those. Then I find that that really helps as well. Um, so yeah, roll them. These are her long sleeve onesies, which we're not really wearing right now, but we at some point might still need to pull them out, so I still have them here. These are short sleeve ones that are like a little bit nicer ones if we're going to go out somewhere. These are more like her play clothes, t-shirts, and um, clothes that I don't care if she you know, takes to the park and gets all muddy and dirty, I don't really care. She has some shorts over here. These plastic bins are amazing. And again, they're just your plastic containers that you would get anywhere, but inside for dresser organization, they're awesome. I have a video that's out of the box shower gift ideas. I know no one that I've ever heard of has registered for these, but these are a great little, and you could even put the whatever you're buying inside and then wrap that up. Just, um, I would kind of let them know your idea behind that, because they're like, you gave me a plastic container, what is this for? But it's really great for organization. And then when your kids clothes, like my son's pants, and stuff he's outgrown kind of the size of tubs but then I've moved these into her dresser I've used them in my kitchen cabinets under the bathroom sink you know they're just you never really run out of use for them but the next door I have pants for her bra, some jeans and then in the third drawer, I'm kind of keeping clothes that she's going to grow into. Um, whenever there's a sale, I kind of buy a size up because I know once I get to that fall or winter and she needs that long sleeve, then they won't be on sale anymore. So summertime, buy your winter stuff. So these are all onesies. They're 18 months and some sleepies, sleeper jammers onesies. Um, 18 month pants and 18 month pants. And in her bottom drawer here, we just kind of have an open slot here. We put her socks in there. We have some more kind of uh, muscle tee onesies, her swimsuits in there. I do keep her shoes in here too, um, just so that they stay in one spot because you know, little kids like to get their shoes and play with them and move them all over the place. And then over here, I keep her hats. So. Um, that is how I have got her organized and as things as she's outgrowing I have a bin I'm putting it in and then I'm gonna spend time again You know, it's just a constant thing of Organizing especially with little kids little kids because they outgrow things so quickly So a constant organization trying to get those in those tubs and bins that I did the first organization with So anyway, that is her closet and her dresser. I hope you have enjoyed um, once again, the closet was completely free. Use boxes and bins that you already have, especially if you're not going to, um, you know, if it's going to be like temporary storage. So I hope you've enjoyed and I hope you're having a great day. As always, take care.